Britain's Prince Philip unveils a statue of Charles Darwin on the 200th anniversary of the explorer's birth. It sits at Christ College in Cambridge, where the future father of evolution studied. His former residence has even been preserved. Of all the big ideas um, that sort of mankind developed over the last 200 years, the theory of uh, evolution by natural selection is about the last one standing. Um, and it's one of those very few uh, human ideas or theories where the more you test it and the more you challenge it, the truer it turns out to be. More than 600 events are taking place across Britain to commemorate Darwin. It's a good timing, I think, and I'm sure if Charles Darwin were alive, he'd be doing a lot for conservation today, and he'd be concerned about global issues like climate change. The home where Darwin lived for 40 years and wrote his Origin of Species recently opened a major exhibition of his life and work. It was a hugely important place for Darwin. Um, he lived here for 40 years of his life, and he seldom left this place. He did most of his work here, either in the house itself or in the gardens or the grounds and around the countryside of Kent. Darwin is known for his epic voyage on the HMS Beagle during which he collected animal specimens. Well, he was dreadfully seasick, so I think he was always keen to get on shore at any opportunity. But, of course, he was interested in nature and he wanted to be where he could actually handle it, so he would have spent every opportunity or taken every opportunity to go on land and look around. While the 1859 publication of Darwin's work changed scientific thought forever, it also generated opposition that continues to this day. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.